Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee Advanced Level of Mathematics. And we continue with Chapter 9.7, Differentiation, the Parametric Differentiation. For example, when functions are defined parametrically, you can find the gradient as a given point. That means that dy by dx is a given point without converting into the Cartesian form. You can use a variation of chance rule. Yes, if x and y are given as functions of a parameter t, dy by dx is equal to dy by dt divided by dx by dt. With some hints that you can obtain this form from writing dy by dx multiplied by dx by dt is equal to dy by dt. So dy by dx is equal to dy by dt and you take this to the right hand side is dy by dx by dt. Let's see some example. Example 1, find the gradient as point P where t equal to 2 on the curve given parametrically by x equal to t crib plus t and y equal to t squared plus 1, t is belong to a real number. So dx by dt is equal to 3t squared plus 1, dy by dt is equal to 2t, and dx by dy is equal to the dy by dt divided by dx by dt is 2t divided by 3t squared plus 1. So when t is equal to 2, you substitute t equal to 2 into here. You get dy by dx is equal to 4 over 13. So the gradient at point p of the curve is equal to 4 divided by 13. Question number 2. Find the equation of the normal. And remember, in this time we have find the equation of the normal, not the equation of the tangent, at the point p where theta equal to pi over 6. This would be pi over 6. To the curve with parametric equation, x equals 3 sine theta, and y equal 5 cosine theta. dx by d theta is equal to 3 cosine theta, and dy by d theta is equal to minus 5 sine theta, and theta from 0 to 2 pi. dy by dx equal to minus 5 psi theta. This value is divided by 3 cosine theta. And as the point P, where theta is equal to pi over 6, we substitute this pi over 6 into the theta here. We get dy by dx is equal to minus 5 multiplied by half over 3 multiplied by square 3 over 2. And so it's equal to minus 5 over 3 square 3. So the gradient of the normal as the point is 3 square 3 over 5. This is the minor reciprocals of this loop here. So as point P, the x is equal to 3 over 2 and y equal to 5 square 3 over 2. How can we get this x equal 3 over 2? Is that we substitute theta equal to pi over 6 into this equation and we get x is equal to 3 over 2, y is equal to 5 squared 3 over 2. By the Spong's loop form, we get the equation of the normal is y minus the point of y and the slope multiplied by x minus the point of x. So we get the equation 5y equal to 3 squared 3x plus 8 squared 3. This is the equation of the normal as the point P. After these two examples, we go to the exercise. Question number 3, number 4, number 5, and number 6. As before, you can check your answer of each question in here. Question number 3a. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve with parametric equation x equal to 3 minus 2 psi t, y equal to t cos t as the point p, where t equal to pi. 
So when t is equal to pi, x is equal to 3 minus 2 psi pi. And we know that psi pi is equal to 0, so it's 3 minus 0 is equal to 3. And y is equal to t cosine t. So when t equal to pi, is equal to pi cosine pi. And we know that cosine pi is equal to minus 1, so y is equal to minus pi. So the point p is 3 and minus pi. We find the dy by dt is equal to minus t psi t plus cos t. And dx by dt is equal to minus 2 cos t. So dy by dx is equal to dy by dt over dx by dt. So it's equal to minus t psi t plus cos t over minus 2 cos t. And when t is equal to pi, dy by dx is equal to pi, substitute into this t here, we got is minus pi psi pi plus cos pi over minus 2 cos pi. So it's equal to minus half. This is the slope when t is equal to pi. So by the point slope form, we got y minus minus pi is equal to minus half. This is the slope from here. Multiplied by x minus 3. And we got the equation of the tangent is y equal to minus half x plus 3 over 2 minus pi. Question 3b. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve with the parametric equation x equal to 9 minus t square, y equal to t square plus 6t as the point p where t equal to 2. So when t is equal to 2, x is equal to 9 minus 2 square is equal to 5. And when t is equal to 2, y is equal to t square plus 60 is equal to 4 plus 12 is equal to 16. So the point P is 5 and 16. And we get the dy by dt is equal to 2t per 6 and dx by dt is equal to minus 2t so dy by dx is equal to 2t per 6 over minus 2t so when t is equal to 2 dy by dx when t equal to 2 we substitute this 2 into the dy by dx equation and we got minus 5 over 2. And minus 5 over 2 is the loop as the point P of this equation. So by the point's loop form, we got y minus 16 is equal to the slope minus 5 over 2 multiplied by x minus 5. And we take everything into here. We got y is equal to minus 5 over 2x plus 25 over 2 plus 16. So we multiply 2 side by 2. We got 2y is equal to minus 5x plus 25 plus 32. This one is uh, 57. So we got the equation 2y plus 5x is equal to 57. This is the equation of the tangent at the point P. Question number four. The curve C has the parametric equation x equal to e to the power 2t, y equal to e to the power t minus 1, and t belong to the real number. And we find the equation of the tangent to C as the point A where t equal to log 2. So when t is equal to log 2, 
x is equal to e to the 2t is equal to e to the 2 log 2. So it's equal to e to the log 2 square. And it's equal to 2 to the square. So it's equal to 4. And y is equal to e to the t minus 1. So it's equal to e to the log 2 minus 1. So it's 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So as point A is to be equal to 4 and 1. And we get the dy by dt is equal to e to the power t. And dx by dt is equal to 2e to the power 2t. So dy by dx is equal to e to the power t over 2e to the power 2t. So it's equal to 1 over 2e to the power t. So when t is equal to log 2, we substitute log 2 into this equation. So dy by dx, when t is equal to log 2, we got is 1 over 2e to the log 2. So we got it here is 1 over 4. This is the loop of the tangent at the point A. So by the Pond's loop form, we got y minus y1 is 1 here equal to the loop 1 over 4 multiplied by x minus 4. And y minus 1 is equal to x over 4 minus one. We take the minus one to the right hand side, so we got y is equal to x over four. This is the equation of the tangent of this curve as the point A where t equal to log two. Question four B we show that the curve C has no stationary point. Seen as the stationary point dy by dx is equal to zero. And we know that dy by dx of the curve is 1 over 2e to the power t. So it's um, half e to the power minus t equal to 0. And we know that e to the power minus t is never equal to 0. Sin e to the minus t is never be 0. Therefore, C has no stationary form because the dy by dx is never equal to zero. Question number five. The curve C has parametric equation. x equal to t squared minus 3t minus 4 over t, y equal to 2t, and t is greater than zero. The lines L1 is a tangent to the curve C and is parallel to the line with the equation Y equal to X plus 5. Find the equation of L1. We know that Y is equal to 2T. DY by DT is equal to 2. And X is equal to T squared minus 3T minus 4 over T is equal to T minus 3 minus 4 over t so it's equal to t minus 3 minus 4 t to the minus 1 so we get the dx by dt is equal to 1 plus 4 t to the minus 2 so this is the dx by dt and this is the dy by dt so we got the dy by dx is equal to 2 over 1 plus 4t to the minus 2. So it's equal to 2t squared over t squared plus 4. And if the L1 is parallel to y equal to x plus 5, so the slope is equal to 1 in this equation. Then the 2t squared over t squared minus 4 is equal to 1 and we get 2t squared 
equal to t square plus 4. So we get t square is equal to 4 and t is equal to 2. So when t is equal to 2, we got y is equal to 2t, two so it's 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And x is equal to t squared minus 3t minus 4 over t, so it's equal to 2 to the square minus 6 minus 4 over 2. So we get is minus 3 on the x value. So as the point when t is equal to 2, x is equal to minus 3, and y is equal to 4. So the point A is minus 3 and 4. By the point slope form, we got y minus 4 here, equal to the slope is equal to 1, and x is minus minus 3, so it's x plus 3. And then we get is y is equal to x, plus 3 plus 4 is equal y equal to x plus 7. This is the equation of the tangent when t is equal to 2 and the equation of L1. Question number 6. The curve C has parametric equation x equal to t squared plus t, y equal to t squared minus 10t plus 5 and t belong to a real number where t is a parameter, given that as point p, the gradient of c is equal to 2, find the coordinates of p. We know that dy by dt is equal to 2t minus 10, and dx by dt is equal to 2t plus 1. So dy by dx is equal to 2t minus 10 over 2t plus 1. And we know that the slope at this point is 2, so dy by dx is equal to 2t minus 10 over 2t plus 1 is equal to 2. We solve for t. We get 2t minus 10 equal to 4t plus 2, so t is equal to minus 6. We substitute t equal to minus 6 into the x and the y equation. We got x is equal to t squared plus t is equal to minus 6 to the square minus 6. So it's 36 minus 6 is equal to 30. And y is equal to t squared minus 10t plus 5. So it's equal to minus 6 to the square minus 10 multiplied by minus 6 plus 5. And it is equal to 36 plus 60 plus 5 and equal to 101. So the point P have the coordinates of 30 and 101. Question 6b. Find the equation of the tangent as of the curve as point C. We got the point C is 30 and 101 and the slope is 2. So by the point slope form, we get y minus 101 equal to 2 multiplied by x minus 30. y minus 101 is equal to 2x minus 60. And y is equal to 2x minus 60 plus 101. So the equation should be y equal to 2x plus 41. Question 6c show that the tangent to the curve c as the point p does not intersect the curve again. Since we know that x is equal to t squared plus t and y is equal to t squared minus 10t plus 5. And the equation of the tangent as point P is y equal to 2x plus 41. We get it from the part B of this question. So we substitute the x equal to t squared plus t into x here and uh, y equal to t squared minus 10t into the y here. We get t squared minus 10t plus 5 
is equal to 2 multiplied by t squared plus t plus 41. So we get t squared minus 10t plus 5 is equal to 2t squared plus 2t plus 41. And we have minus t squared minus 12t minus 36 equal to 0. So t squared plus 12t plus 36 is equal to 0. And we factorize this equation, we get t plus 6 to the square is equal to 0, and t is equal to minus 6. This is only one solution. So since t has only one solution, the tangent only intersects the curve C once and only one. So it's never be intersect the curve again. Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you, please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shaft and see the new video. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtong929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 好多谢大家收听我呢个 video。如果你系希望你个 mathematics 同埋你个英文系更加好嘅话咧，你想要一个 private tutor 啦，你可以随时 contact 我嘅，令到你个 DSE exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因为我都有一啲私人嘅补习喺呢一两方面嘅。多谢大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。